What's going on, y'all? So What's going on, y'all? First of all, I'm, this is only episode five of Sisters. Okay, well, this season four, episode five, Life So Hard. All right, but um, pause. Let me just put this out here because I know somebody going to ask. The What It Is video is coming tomorrow. My notes is at work, and I didn't even finish them. I didn't go to work today because we had a snowstorm out here last night, and it was still snowing earlier today. Um, And, baby, when I tell you, we were stuck in the house. Everybody was stuck in the house, okay? Half my job didn't go to work because everybody was stuck in the house, okay? So we literally had to dig the fuck out the house, all right? And I'm just, I'm tired, okay? I only had energy for one video today. And, um, baby, I wouldn't finish stress it, all right? Muscles hurt and everything. I'm, I'm on pain medication because, bitch, I know I'm going to be screaming in the morning. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's get up into this Sisters Review, Sister Season 4, Episode 5. Um... Life, soul, and heart. So we pick up where we left off last week with old boy coming up into Danny's place, okay? Now, let me just say you this. Um, excuse me, you're going to have to do a little bit better, Tyler, because what cop... Now, I understand we live in a day and age that maybe that probably do happen, but what freaking cop going... Because this dude come up into Danny's house, all right? First of all, how did you get my number, okay? How did you get my address? I feel as though that's a violation, you know, um... Um, if Danny was to scratch his ass up or stab him up or whatever, she would have been well in her right because not only did she open up the door and try to close that thing and did not invite you in, okay, you pushed yourself in forcefully. So, therefore, she's in defense mode. So, if she was to do something to that man, it's self-defense, okay? Stand your damn ground. That's what it is, bitch. But... He was like, hold up, Danny. Hold up, Danny. I was like, what do you want? You know, I said, Danny, stick, stick, sticky move, sticky move, sticky move, Danny. Danny was like, what the fuck you doing here? He was like, listen, calm down. I'm just trying to tell you I'm an undercover cop, okay? I work up in the airport, and I'm trying to, you know, stop them people from, uh, you know, trafficking kids and stuff like that. Now, on the one hand, I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, at least we got somebody out here. Mm. Okay, I don't know why that took me out, but it took me out. We got somebody out here that care for the kids or whatever. That's understandable because I can't stand stuff like that, you know. And on the um, say here, I was really, really cautious just like Danny. I said, excuse me, what? What? He was like, that's why the only person that really came after me was you and your shoe, okay? And I'm sitting here like... I mean, maybe he telling the truth. Maybe he telling the truth or what? Right? You know, he was like, uh, I just wanted to let you know that you did such a good job or whatever. And it's a good team. And I'm just sitting here like, now, hold up. You couldn't wait till I got to the airport and told me this. Like, you couldn't wait till I got backstage in my shift before I came onto the floor and been like, can I speak to Danny or whatever so we can let her know and have your supervisor talk to her too at the same time and be like, listen, he is undercover or whatever because you said everybody else in the airport know but her. Don't come to my house like that. See, that's why I was a little leery, okay? I'm a little leery because what the hell are you coming to my job for? First of all, you already in my job. What are you coming to my house for? And then you forcing yourself into my house and then you show me the badge all right now i was with danny i said we can go to party city and we can get that i know some people that can make some stuff like that and he was like yeah give me their name she said well hold up you sound like a cop right there when you said that so let me take that back i don't really know nobody okay but at the same time i was just like uh-uh i ain't like that logan okay you a cop you could have waited till i came home uh to, to the work you know moving on from that um Andy had called Sabrina. She called Sabrina to let Sabrina know, listen, uh, Karen want us to come over to the crib around 8 o'clock. I need you to call, uh, you know, uh, Danny to let her know because, you know, Danny and Sab uh, Karen, they kind of at each, each, each. You know, Danny got a little issue with Karen because of what she pulled with Preston, okay? And she was like, well, why you couldn't call her? Because you know she ain't going to listen to me. She'll listen to you first. And that is true. That is true because we have to understand that in this friendship, it's four of them, right? But the closest is divided. It's literally divided in half. Danny and, Am, um, Danny and Sabrina are like best friends. And Andy and Karen are best friends. And the rest of them... All of them are, are friends together. That's how it is, okay? And so, you know, she was like, okay, cool. Meanwhile, here comes Maurice come up in the office or whatever. He sit down at her desk 
And then she was like, hey, Maurice. She was like, girl, don't talk to me. I'm sitting here like, well, why are you here, Maurice? Well, what's the deal? You know, he's still up in his feelings. Maurice is still in his feelings. Because here go uh, Sabrina. So what y'all do? I said, you know, they play with each other pocketbooks, braid each other hair or whatever. I don't know, okay? And at this point in time, I was just like, Maurice, you you ain't had to come back there, okay? Because you just be in a mess. You just be in a mess or whatever. We get it. Sabrina, Sabrina, you and Calvin misstepped on this. And I just need you to go ahead and just mind your own business at this point, all right? She went on ahead and she called to, uh, uh, Danny. Or, no, Danny called her to let her know what was going on, you know, with the whole guy coming to the house or whatever. She was like, girl, I almost uh, killed somebody, okay? Listen, because old boy came to the crib and everything. And she was like, oh, for real, he a cop? Oh, okay, cool, cool. But um, Cameron wants you to come over to the crib, okay? Because we got something to talk about. She want to tell us something or whatever. And she was like, girl, I ain't coming over there. And it was like, yes, you are. I will see you over there. And you know what? Danny going to show up. Meanwhile, back at the shop, okay, Karen, you know, you better thank your lucky stars that you do got Pam messy ass there because Pam really did you a solid by calling um the health department to get old boy shut down because now you really got people up in there. Now, when Kim came up in there, Pam was just looking like, now, first of all, let me just say this. I'm this close to being into the um quarter, into the to the nose clean or whatever, because like you know um Angie Beyonce, she uh posted a you know a clip of her being on um on sisters or whatever, and I commented, I was like, oh shit, bitch, look at the legs, okay, come on, walk, you know, and she liked the comment or whatever. <laughs> I'm this close. <laughs> I'm this close, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Next week, y'all know. <laughs> Hey, y'all, this is my good girlfriend right here. <laughs> Let me stop playing. I be hyping myself up, bitch. You got to hype yourself up because ain't nobody else going to do it. Okay, sometimes you just got to say shit to make yourself feel good. But anyway, she was just trying to give her the, you know, the nod. Like, look, and look over there, bitch. That lady was back. The one that was looking for Zach. Okay, and I'm sitting here like, if Karen ain't tell you the first time he, the boy she, where he was, why you think that, you know, she going to tell you not? And at this point, um... <clears throat> She was like, looking, girl, I don't know. Girl, what's that? Oh, that's that scar. Okay. I don't know what you're looking for. I don't have his number. Ah, He's not with me. I don't know where he stay at because he don't stay with me or whatever. She was like, but you went to go see him last week. Bitch, it's you the cops. I'm not the cop, okay? I'm, I'm not a cop. I'm not this. I'm not that. Then who the fuck are you? I said, listen, girl, you expect me to give out information to a stranger about somebody that I allegedly know, okay? Listen, it don't work that way. My mama always told me don't talk to strangers and damn sure don't give out your information, okay? So you can boo boo get the hell out. Boost. Vamoose, okay? That's what you got to go, you know? And so they kicked her out or whatever because Pam said, why is she still here? <laughs> And Pam started walking over there to the window. She was like, listen, I'm finna go get her license plate number and everything. Cause I know, you know, I know one of my boos is up in the, um, you know, he a cop or whatever. I said, you would. This bitch probably got a whole, she got a nigga in just about every field of, of service. So, hey, it is what it is. Meanwhile, you know, um, Karen had to deal with that. So we get, uh, what wound up happening? I think it was. Fatima, let's just talk about Fatima and, um, well, no, no, Sabrina and freaking Maurice back at the bank, okay? His phone is ringing. She came out her business, your phone ringing. I'm pretty sure he knows that the phone is ringing, Sabrina. And I'm just like, girl, she, she was like, uh, is somebody from the correctional facility? I said, bitch. <laughs> You gonna have to calm that shit down, okay? You already know it was cute at this point. And I'm just like, girl, just mind your business, okay? Meanwhile, he do eventually pick up the phone. And it is cute talking about some, so you gonna, uh, you, 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 why you not answering the calls or whatever? You gonna let me stay? You gonna let me stay? And I'm just like, Maurice, if you, you like this at this point, he likes this because it's been a minute since he's been chased. <coughs> 
And I feel like that's what it is, okay? He really liked the chase of it. You know, we saw him earlier talking about how, you know, people don't like him. And, you know, uh, well, given the different issues that he has within the gay community, actually finding somebody that decent to be with. And now he got this boy that keep on playing games with him. You know, did you hear when he said, what you got? He was like, girl, I'm trying to be your man. I said, girl, girl. He was like, no, nigga, you just trying to get a place to stay. He said that too. I said, well, at least you honest, Q. <coughs> <coughs> bitch a piece of I did have some spice or whatever but that was early what the fuck is that let me get it one more this is agua okay <clears throat> all right that feel a little bit better okay girl you know mm -mm, I don't like that mm -mm, okay and I was just like Maurice hang up the phone you gonna let that boy stay it already just what it is you're gonna let him stay uh, <coughs> well, actually, no. There it goes still. Anyway, so Fatima and um Andy, they up in the parking lot, right? They come up there. They talking, of course, about whatever they're talking about. All I notice is that Andy got on the goddamn jury. <coughs> I apologize, y'all. What is that? Andy got on that watch, okay? Fatima notices it. Also, the bag or whatever. And I'm sitting here like, so, we take Gary's car out for a little drive. And we also going to wear the jewelry. We going to flaunt the little bag or whatever. You said, fuck it. So, in my mind, and because of what you're doing right now, you already then said, bitch, I'm back with him. I'm just going to play this little game and let him sweat it out for a little bit. Now, in the preview for next week's episode, when he was like, you going to want to talk to me. And then she walked up into the apartment. Baby, what y'all think going to happen? Like, I'm sitting here like, um, <clears throat> is all her stuff going to be gone? Did he try to forcefully move her out into another place or whatever? Like, he, he the type of person that would do some shit like that. But, um, anyway... So they start talking about the whole situation with Hayden, you know, um, her getting people to uh, uh, beat his ass or whatever. You can't do that, okay? You can't do that. She just like, you know what? <clears throat> it is what it is. Andy wants her to be careful, especially now that she with Zach is too. She just want everybody to be okay, be on the same front, okay? Um, and as, 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 as they're talking, all of a sudden, here comes Hayden. Hating. I said this hating ass motherfucker. That's what we're going to call him. We're going to call him hating. Okay. He comes stumbling around, you know, after we just got through getting news about how Zach is great. Okay. He's just perfect. He's just good. You know, he's just selling and all this stuff. And, you know, she was like, I ain't got to let my guards down with him. Well, I'm going to have to let my guards down with him or whatever. I ain't got to put him up. And, you know, he makes me feel this or whatever. And woo, woo, woo. Hayden comes around the corner. And I mean, that motherfucker, I ain't never seen nobody stumble and walk on crutches the way that he was walking. Okay. I said, put your foot down. Put your foot down. I said, where the brace at? You probably was supposed to have a brace on your foot and you said, fuck that shit. I'm, I'm, I'm not finna mess up this outfit with that boot on my damn foot. That's what it looked like, okay? Because he sure enough wasn't walking on one of them things and it looked like he was about to fall. Baby, they was cracking up so damn bad. At least Fatima was. I said, child, it was a mess, all right? But then, you know, Fatima was egging him on. I said, Fatima, don't, don't stop it, okay? Because, you know, he a little cray-cray. She was like, listen, I bet you that's it. You know what I'm saying? He know not to play no more. He was like, oh, you think it's over? Oh, it ain't over. <laughs> I still got something for that ass. And I said, oh, so that's what we doing? That's what we doing? I said, uh-uh, we not about to do this stuff or whatever. You know, he coming at her. She was like, after you done came at me like this, I got a witness with uh uh Andy saying what you going to do to me or whatever plus this bruise on my face oh yeah you ain't finna do shit okay and i said oh he did look a little spooked at that moment but then you know i was like hmm what's going on now let me tell you this okay they was just uh uh jonesing with him you know making fun of him fatima is just cracking up okay because he did look a goofy ass mess okay and he deserved it and she was like you keep on playing with me everybody gonna get those pictures of you bucket ass naked on top of your car you know what i'm saying and he was like what 
What you talking about? I said, just let it go back. Go ahead and work, okay? You know, he drops something and he get, picks it up or whatever. He go ahead and he, you know, stumble on out the room, you know, out the garage. But as they walking out, they pan the camera down onto the floor and it looked like the handle, uh, one of the cushions to the crutches, okay? Because if y'all ain't never had crutches, it's the, 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 that put underneath right here that you rest on, it's a cushion, okay? That's the cushion. It had came out. And it was on the floor. And they made it a point to zoom in on that. Now, was it for a joke? Because somebody said, what if it's a recording device up in there? I don't know. Do you think Hayden got a recording device up in there or whatever? But who? I don't know. I want Fatima to leave that man alone, okay? If, if he ain't coming at her right now, leave him alone, all right? But at the same time, um, <clears throat> they get up into the office. We get over there to the airport. Logan coming over there messing around with Danny, okay? I said, you know what? I already knew right at the beginning when he popped up in there. I said, oh, the way he left. I said, you know what? Danny got another one on the hook. Okay, bitch, your roster is rostering. All right. You know, I don't know about him, but, you know, I don't, you know, because he a cop, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? And I hope he a good guy, you know, Um, but... Danny don't need no more. Danny don't need no more because Danny can't even make decisions to what she want to do right about now. And she barely got two at this point. Okay, we know that El Fuego is just to have sex with. She don't know if she truly want a relationship with Preston. Now we finna throw Logan in the mix who up here flirting with her. You know, talking about uh the sex trafficking stuff and where he take the kids at. And, oh, you should come and look at them or whatever. And, you know, see how they are doing at the place. And, you know, because we can use volunteers and stuff like that because she gave him a comment compliment she eventually gave him a compliment after him trying to get her to go out with him and take her out to dinner she turns him down at least a couple of times before she said fuck it all right i'll go okay i'll go you know you want to throw the kids up in there and be like oh you should come on out there and see them and see how they're doing after we you know save them from uh, a life of uh bullshit you know what i'm saying so she was like damn it all right all right okay you got me and i said oh <coughs> Excuse me. So are we here for it? Y'all know when that something gets stuck right there and it just won't stop itching. Like it just won't go away. It probably go away as soon as I get through. Okay. And it's bothering me right about now because I keep on talking. But I apologize throughout the video if I'm coughing or whatever. I ain't sick. I ain't sick. Okay. But. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize. How y'all feel about Logan and Brent? Uh, I was about to say Logan and Brandy. <laughs> Where did that come from? Logan and Danny, all right? How do y'all feel about Logan and Danny? Do y'all want that to happen? At this point, I don't want Danny with anybody until she figure herself out, okay? Because she don't know what she wants. She don't know what she want, all right? She don't know if she want to open up to somebody. She don't want know if she just want to fuck buddy. She don't know nothing at this point because that's exactly how she acting. Meanwhile, we get to, uh, uh, I was about to say Melissa. Who is these people that keep on coming up in my mind? We get uh, to Sabrina. Calvin shows up. Girl, I'm sitting here like, now what is this get up with Calvin? This is like the second or third time I'd have seen Calvin walk in with a, a button down shirt. Okay. And he got half of it uh, hanging out and half of it tucked in. That's the look we going for. Okay. You know, it's whatever. That that outfit that he had on in tonight's episode was actually really cute. I like the shirt and everything. I probably stunned something like that if my stomach was a little bit smaller so it can lay flat. You know what I'm saying? It look cute. And then the black pants, it look real cute. Okay. That kind of is like my style a little bit. Just a little bit just a little bit okay but he come up in there and he was like yo i just want to apologize for what happened the night before and she was like yeah because you know you left me or whatever he was like listen it was just a lot going on she was like you know what i understand you was just trying to show that you a man and that you could protect me you know with after all of the jacoby stuff that happened or whatever that's why you was doing it so i understand because remember she had a conversation with danny who said you know what he was just probably trying to show you that he can protect you that he can be a man he could be that bad boy that she was looking for for. And he sat there listening to her as she said it and all this stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But no, that's not what it was. I said, now, damn it, Calvin. I 
I'm up here trying to defend you and say that's what it was. And you say, no, that's not what it was. It's literally, if it would have been you, it would have been somebody else or it would have been me by myself and that whole thing would have happened, I still would have reacted the same way. And I said, oh. I mean, disrespect is disrespect. So you mean to tell me you're a high head too? You're a high head too, Calvin? What are you trying to prove, okay? But basically, what it comes down to is he want to take her out again. You know, Sabrina respects it, okay? She was like, okay, whatever. I said at this point, it ain't even no reason to freaking argue and go back and forth because I'm just tired of them too. All right? He was like, you know I love you, right? I said, what? She was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't say it back. He was like, okay, so I'll take you out. You know, he was like, uh, I could since you love that restaurant so much, I'll take you back to it and we can do a do-over. She was like, no. Okay, no. I said the reason why she said that because if she would have saw the owner, oh boy, they started all this stuff, she probably would have went with him. Okay, she probably would have went with him. And to be honest, I feel like Sabrina is going to call him. I really do feel like Sabrina is going to call him. It's going to be over for Calvin. Okay, and then Sabrina going to have Calvin trying to fight this man all over again. Okay, trying to prove his love for her. That lady don't love you, um, Calvin. I want you to move on to somebody that do, you know. So, and, and Sabrina said it right. I will drive this time because what you're not going to do is pull the fuck off and leave me there. Now, Calvin, that was a bitch move. That was such a bitch move. What if something would have happened to her? What if them motherfuckers would have came back and did something to her? Because he was, dude was all up on her, okay? Like, he just couldn't take no for an answer. You know, what if something could have happened? And you just left her there at that restaurant by herself. That, that, that's tragic. That's not right meanwhile oh excuse me so <clears throat> oh we get preston coming over there with old girl that he was with <laughs> karen was like they come up to karen's shop karen was like um so what are you doing here what's wrong with you mind you he the head just got done like the day before or whatever two days before i say okay a day and a half Baby, she was like, he got my hair wet. <laughs> like, you the one that got your hair wet. Nah, you the one that got it wet. Listen, and he told me to come on over here so that you can do my hair. And you wouldn't have no problem with it. But I was just like, you know, I should have called first. Because Karen was looking like, huh? You know, Karen didn't want no problems. At least that's how she acted. Because the last time Preston was there, you know, issues popped off. And I'm going to sit here and be like, Karen, the reason why issues popped off is because you opened up your big ass mouth and told Danny what was going on. Okay? So that was on you. So she was like, girl, yeah, I'll take you. Just sit down. Um, Preston, let me go talk to you in a back okay so they go in the back and she was like so what you want you want me to call danny no i do not want you to call danny like is this some type of game that y'all playing like you trying to get back at her i am not trying to get back at her i do not want you to call her i am out here with old girl and that's where i want to be right now so you mind your goddamn business that's what preston wanted to say but a part of me feels as though Preston kind of did want her to call him, uh, uh, Danny. So, I don't know. How do y'all feel about that? Do y'all think that this is a whole ploy that them two, they playing a game with each other at this point. That, I'm gonna just say it, okay? Preston probably more so not necessarily trying to play a game, but is being forced to play this game because Danny is playing a game. But at the same time, I want Karen to mind her business because I know I wasn't the only one who thought when she picked up that phone that she was about to call Danny and trick off again. Mind you, she said, I ain't finna get up in between y'all shit no more. And I said, you on the phone now? Girl, she on the phone and who she called? It's Fatima. I said, um, excuse the fuck out of me? <laughs> she was like, Hello? Fatima was like, hello, who was calling? She was like, uh, this ain't Zach. She was like, no, this is not. It was like, where is Zach? I was calling Zach. Uh, well, he's not here. Okay, so who is this? And it was like, the person that you call. Who is this? <laughs> I said, Fatima, why you say that? Y'all just need to fight. I said, girl, don't do that. Don't do that because when y'all see each other, if you punch that girl, you're going to punch her into another universe. Okay? Like, stop. You know what I'm saying? Just stop. Okay? Fatima was fed the fuck up. She was like, the person that you called? She was like, who was this? This is Karen. Fatima, oh, well, could you tell Zach that I called or whatever? And I was just like, <laughs> I'm sitting here like, now why did Zach give her? Fatima phone number. What type of messy game Zach is playing? Girl, she called Zach, and he at the house, of course. And come to find out, 
basically they switched phones. The phones got uh, 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 switched. And he was like, I told you to get a different case because they both phones look the same, all right? And so they go on. She she was like, well, Karen called you, okay? Karen want to talk to you. He was like, I don't want to talk to that girl. It ain't nothing that I need to talk to her about. It ain't absolutely nothing I need to talk to her about. And I said, are we sure as that? Because the last time we heard, y'all two got a baby together, allegedly. Allegedly, there is an alleged baby. You know what I'm saying? We still ain't seen the girl go to the doctor. Or did I miss that? I know she took some pregnancy tests. Has she went to the doctor yet to confirm this? Did I miss that part? Y'all put it down in the comments, okay? Because, um, what's going on, all right? Because until the doctor confirm and we go up into the uterus, I'm going to sit here and be alleged, okay? So, um... He was like, well, fuck that. I ain't got nothing to talk to her about, whatever. And she was like, well, come get your phone. And he was like, no, nah, you keep it. I, I, you just bring it home or whatever. She was like, no, nah, because people probably going to be calling you. You can't get up into my phone or whatever. It was like, just give me your passcode. No, nah, I ain't trying to give you my passcode. He wasn't trying to give her her passcode. And I was sitting here like the way Fatima said that shit about getting the passcode. When he asked, I said, mm. But Tima, what you got up in that phone that you had? And bitch, you ain't finna get my passcode. Cause baby, you gonna find some stuff. Um, you're gonna get your feelings hurt, okay? You're gonna get your feelings hurt. I don't need you asking questions, cause bitch, your ass shouldn't have sent that shit, okay? But um, anyway, y'all be asking for y'all mates uh um passcode or whatever, or do you just trust them to do what they gotta do? You know, I was just like, what? Zach was about to hang up the phone, but then he said, Okay, my passcode is 10 0 Four five, and she was like, "What?" And he was like, "Put it in," and that literally was the passcode. Mind you, she had gave him something like Fatima eighty eight or ninety eight or something like that, and he gonna put the thing in. I said, "Damn it, Zach! It's too many numbers and letters." Okay, first of all, we don't do letters; we do numbers, unless you're on an Android. But I'm pretty sure you was on an Apple phone, so let's stop. Let's stop, okay? You know, he was like, damn it, that girl didn't give me the shit. I said, you really thought Fatima player ass? Fatima got some player up in her, okay? She got some player up in her, and I like it, you know? And so, it wasn't the passcode. But that was cool. That was cool. Um, Meanwhile, uh, <clears throat> girl, what happened? I'm fast forwarding because I was, they was at the bank. Girl, the shit at the bank, they let um Maurice Judy in, okay, the little white boy, you know, um, because he about to go to a party. He needs to get some money so he can get some party favors. And if you don't know what party favors means, that means, okay, you know, mm -hmm, yeah, get lifted. Just think of euphoria. There you go. Okay. And, um, you know, of course, he had to let him know that, hey, I heard that uh, Q getting out soon. Heard that he snitched on everybody or whatever. So, hey. And I'm sitting here like, why are we bringing this up? Me and Maurice was like, why are we bringing this up, okay? It was like, because you know how you do. You like going after certain people. You like getting attached to certain people and everything. And I said, oh, you didn't have to call him on his shit like that because that's exactly what was going on. But did y'all hear when he came in and he said, hey, Sabrina, that's a nice dress. And I said, stop playing. Maurice said, now, why the fuck you lie to her like that? <laughs> and so at this point, Sabrina got something to say about him playing around with Q. And, you know, I'm just like, Sabrina, just, just mind your business. Let Maurice do whatever it is that he's going to do. I understand this whole, I wouldn't be a friend if I wouldn't tell you the truth. If I tell you that you can keep on doing this. But you told him once before and at this point, you've interjected in his life before and you got it totally wrong or he's not going to listen. So just let him do him, okay? Because at this point, it's becoming irritating the fact that you keep on talking to him, you know what I'm saying, and getting in, in his, involved. Meanwhile, Aaron shows up at Karen's place, you know. They go in the back to talk. He want to give her, a, is it pedicure? Pedicure is when they play with the feet, right? Don't, no girl whichever one he want to rub her feet down and all this stuff she was like you always want to do something with my feet he said it's the love it's the what what's the name of this episode he was like it's the life you know it's it carries the life the soul and the heart i said you know what aaron if it would have been from somebody else, I would have liked that, okay? I would have liked that line. I I, I mentally jot, jot it down, okay, so I can use it, but it's coming from you, and I really don't like you, okay, because you are a little desperate, you know what I'm saying? But that was cute. That was cute. I'll give you that. I'll give you that, you know, and she just, I'm just like, 
what's going on? Okay, why are you up in here with her or whatever? And all of a sudden, she was like, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I said, oh, you finally told him that you pregnant, okay? And I was just like, oh, that's how we leave it. Now, on next week's episode, he going to say, he said something to the fact of, are you saying it because you're not sure that uh, I am could be the baby dad or whatever? See, even him having questions, and she never really said that he could be a possibility. She automatically wanted to say Zach, okay? And that goes to show you how much time has went past, that it could possibly be his. Girl, I knew we, we weren't crazy. We weren't crazy, and I'm pretty sure it probably is his. If there is a baby, it is not Zach, okay? I'm just saying that. But y'all tell me how y'all feel about this episode. Y'all tell me what y'all think Gary got in store up in with uh freaking Karen when she come up in. Not Karen, but Andy when she came up in there. Baby, did you hear that shit where Danny was like, um... Cause she asked Logan, why did he, why did he have a mirror, a, a wedding ring on his finger? She he was like, it's part of the cover, and then he was like, you know, well, I don't do that, okay? Uh, I pass you over to Andy, cause that's what she do. I said, bitch, you ain't have to say that girl like that. Andy do like a Mary, so hey, it is what it is. But y'all tell me how y'all feel. Once again, I apologize for all the coughing. See what I tell you? The, it, it went away. It went away. I'm perfectly fine now. Damn near choked throughout half a damn um review. Bitch, let me get up off of here. I see y'all later. Peace.